Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking. Last year I had an opportunity to spend a whole day out in Santa Rosa hanging out with David Marks and that was a lot of fun. Um, so David, uh, most people know him from his uh, woodwork show that he had on the DIY network a few years ago. And you know, there are a lot of good woodworking shows out there, but, um, and there, there really are. I, I like most of them. But I really personally think that David's woodwork show was the best one of them all. Uh, just my own personal opinion. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, what David's up to now, he's still making his wooden masterpieces and uh, to die for, but what some people don't know is that David also runs a full-fledged woodworking school out there in Santa Rosa. And so uh, we took a few minutes and, and we did this uh, shop tours of his school while, while I was there. And uh, I, it was a lot of fun. I hope you like this. I'm a little disappointed with the audio on this, but I still think this is a, a pretty fun video to watch. And please stick around to the end because I'm going to have a, a brief slideshow of some of David's work and that's always fun to look at. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking, and today I am on location in Santa Rosa, California with none other than David Marks. Hi, David. Hello there, nice Charlie. Here. And his wonderful, beautiful wife, Victoria. Hi. At, this, at the David Marks Woodworking School. And uh, today, they've offered to give me a tour of the school. So uh, this will be a lot of fun. I hope you like it. And I am going to step out of the way, get behind the camera, and let these two show you around the school. Our if you would, please. <laughs> our woodworking school is located here in Santa Rosa, California, which is one hour north of San Francisco, in beautiful Sonoma County, which is known for wine country. So it's a beautiful environment for people to come, learn woodworking, and have a lot of fun. Um, David, why don't you show them about the shop? Yeah, so uh, what we've got here is a 2,200 square foot shop. Um, what you're seeing here is my workbench, my torsion box uh, assembly table. We've got a, a 18 inch bandsaw over there, a drill press over here, table saw. And for those of you that have seen Woodworks when it was uh, on the DIY, DIY network back in 2002 is when it started airing, uh, it was all shot right here in this room. Uh, typically the camera was over there facing in this direction, but we shot 91 episodes and uh, a lot of step-by-step -step projects. If you cannot make it out here for a class, then you can always at least look at the DVD or digital download. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the rest of the shop. Yeah. So, David, Victoria, what, where are we at? This is another room in your uh, school? Yeah, this is more of the machine room. This is where we've got you know, various tools, bandsaws, and joiners. This uh, is something that I got after Woodworks, so you, you did not see this on the TV show. But this is my Minimax 36-inch uh, bandsaw. It's, it's a real workhorse. The blade is over 20 feet long. Wow. So it, it's uh, quite the monster. And uh, cast iron wheels, you know, quite a, quite a solid machine. I'll say. This thing will cut through just about anything. I believe it. And wow. it's got an eight, eight and three-quarter horsepower. Okay. And then I use this sliding table on here when I'm cutting uh, pieces of stock for, for wood turning. Okay. But uh, great machine, love this bandsaw. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you do. And yeah. how many bandsaws? I see two more bandsaws behind you there. Yes, we've got six. <laughs> six bandsaws. Well, that, that's enough. To, that's a good start. Well, you know, my, my excuse is I have a woodworking school. <laughs> that's a good, good excuse. Maybe I should open a school. <laughs> there you go. And then you can have lots of tools. Okay. So over here, yes. we've got the, uh, you know, my, my old jointer, which everybody loves. Right. This great big 16 inch jointer. This thing's been a real workhorse. I bought this uh, used back in the 19, around 1984, 1985. Okay. And I've since upgraded it with a uh, bird Shelix head. So I've got all carbide cutters on here. Uh -huh. And I uh, really, really love those bird Shelix heads. You know, really nice upgrade. So this thing's a real workhorse. This bandsaw over here, I've, I've got this tuned up and I've been using the, uh, the Lennox uh, Dime Master blades. And this one's set up for, for veneer cutting. Okay. So I can do some very fine uh, veneer cutting with this saw. Okay, excellent, very nice. And then this smaller bandsaw is for cutting circles. So if we're doing curved work, we've got a, a Lennox quarter inch Dime Master blade on here. Okay. And this is, this is you know, good for cutting uh, small diameter cuts. Nice, nice stuff. All right, and then all the way back here is the classroom. 
So we're, we're in your classroom now. You want to describe this area? Sure. This, uh, this room here is 36 feet long, and this is where we keep all of our workbenches. Okay. So we have enough uh, torsion box, heavy-duty workbenches here to accommodate 10 students. Okay. And this is where students will come in and work on their drawings. You know, if they're doing marquetry, they'll do some assembly and sand shading here. Um, if we're doing some glue up, sometimes they'll be in here doing glue ups on these tables. And it's also uh, kind of a place to relax and have coffee. Um, if it's raining outside, we'll have lunch in here. Uh -huh. And we've got refrigerator and snacks and stereo music. So, uh, yeah, it makes it for a relaxing environment to work in. Very nice. Very nice. So, Charlie, this is my, my wood shed here. I've been storing wood here for uh, at least 20, 20 some odd years. Holy smokes. Can you even walk around in there? <laughs> you can't, can you? I, I can climb around in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a, it's a wood addiction. <laughs> okay, so give us, give us some idea of what all you got in there, if, if you even know. Well, yeah, I do know there's a lot of big leaf maple. Uh -huh. um, there's some, some burls that I use for turning. Uh, I've got some, some uh, Burmese Paduke. I've got some Buckeye burl, some maple burl. Um, over on this side, I have some cans of ebony. I got a big slab of walnut, some old growth curly redwood there. Wow. Uh, I've got some Ziracote, some purple heart, some yellow heart. Uh, just, just all kinds of different woods that I've collected over the years. And, and students do get to use some of this wood at, at the school. Uh huh. I figured I'm, I'm not gonna live long enough to use it all up, so I may as well share the wealth a little bit. So when students come out to take classes, depending upon whether we're doing marquetry or wood turning or you know, whatever, uh -huh. we'll come out here and find some wood that's suitable for the projects and that becomes uh, part of the class. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> All right, thanks. You're welcome. David, so what room are we in here now? Well, this is what we would call our, actually our main room or, or I don't know, we call it uh, the turning room because okay. this is where all the lathes get set up. It's the biggest room in the building. The room it's is 20 feet by 36 feet, and this is where we bring in all the workhorses for the classes. So for our turning class, we bring in 10 lathes that we have stored on, on another part of the property. For our marquetry class, we bring in 10 scroll saws, again, for the, we store on the property. Gilding chemical patination, we lay at our tables in here. And so this is where the students do most of their work, but they have access and they use the entire shop for any of the classes. So it's just a really good work environment because it's 2,200 square feet of a really fully equipped shop. Plus great. they get to spill outside. So we have, um, David has a big building over there that stores the wood. For gilding chemical patination, a part of the patina process they do do outside. At lunch, we serve lunch of our classes. They eat by our swimming pool. So again, we oh try and make it God. a really relaxing, <laughs> so, great environment. So Victoria, let me see. So you come here, you're in beautiful Santa Rosa, California, with yes. the sunshine and yes. the vineyards, and yes. you're eating your free lunch outside by the pool. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like a resort. Well, it's well, like a boutique. Yeah, yeah. We'd like to think of it as like a woodworking camp for grown-ups, where they do serious woodworking, but they also have fun, and it should be a relaxing, creative, fun environment. It's not, by any remote stretch of the imagination, an industrial setting. Okay. So this is how David thrives in this creative element, and we call it, call it creative chaos. If you look on the walls and everywhere, there's just stuff, stuff. everywhere. But it's all <laughs> points of inspiration. It's like eye candy. It is. Wow. Well, that is so cool. Let me step around back here, and I want to thank you too for having me out here and giving me a tour of your beautiful school. And I appreciate it. This is a great place. Um, and you've got a newsletter too, don't you? We do, we do. So if you go to our, our website, which is djmarks.com, scroll down a little bit, there's a little white box, just you know, sign into that, and then you'll get the newsletter. Mm -hmm. Victoria writes the newsletter and sends it out uh, usually early each month. Victoria writes the newsletter, but you've got a lot of tips and tricks, right. and, and you answer questions, people yes. put in questions. So there's a lot of good content, it's not just you know, here we are out in the sunshine. There's a lot right. of good woodworking content yes. in your newsletter. And a lot of people really value the uh, yeah. question and answer section of the newsletter. We've right. been told that that's a you know, very helpful part of the newsletter. Okay, well, thanks a million for having me out here. It's our sure. pleasure. It's wonderful meeting Charlie. you. David, nice pleasure. seeing you again. Yes. And um, 
please subscribe to Jack Bench and by all means check out if not if not the school at least check out the website and get the free newsletter because that's certainly worth your while. Our website um, is djmarks.com. <laughs> yeah. Thanks.